Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be making our way through the new tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Fizz Omega Shenron Extreme Z Battle event that just dropped for part 2 of the 7th anniversary celebration. Now, as always, I did put a timer over my head for those of you that want to race me to see if you can finish it faster than I can. So let's take a look at the team here. We got the double Super Saiyan 4 uh, Goku and Vegeta's. We also have Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, the Tech Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then the free to play Int GT Goku. Now, as uh, some of you guys might know, um, the Tech Gogeta later on in the event, it does get a massive amount of damage reduction against AGL types, so I might have to switch out this LR Goku, but honestly, I feel like the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, like the new one, um, is going to be such a monster that it doesn't really matter who else we bring, like they're probably just going to carry us through the entire run, so I think this team is probably going to be fine, but... We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, with all that said, let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start the timer in three, two, one, go. Okay, and we are officially in level one. Here we go. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how hard uh, this one actually is compared to like, you know, some of the other Extreme Z battles we've seen because recently they haven't been too bad, but there are some really difficult ones out there like uh, for example, the, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, like the STR and AGL ones, um, their Extreme Z battle event, if I remember correctly, was actually pretty challenging. Okay, so level 1, not much of an issue as uh, you would expect, but I do expect the difficulty to also ramp up quite a bit uh, as we, you know, make our way through, especially once we get to the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now I am gonna try to actually go for a decent time in this one. You know, sometimes like I get so distracted by like what I'm saying in these videos that my time ends up being pretty sad. But today we're gonna set a respectable time. We are, I think under, under 30 minutes sounds realistic, maybe. Yeah, 30 minutes sounds fine, right? And of course, yes, I did get a haircut <laughs> uh, between the morning video and this one. So in the morning, I did the reaction to the LR... Um, the LR... What was it again? Oh, the, the Mer Zamasu, the Fuse Zamasu. Yeah, I did a reaction to that and my haircut, or my hair wasn't cut at the time. And then I did go get a haircut. And now we're here, so... I know some people always ask, like, yo, did you get a haircut? Like, yo, is that new? Yes, it is new. I feel much better now. I was actually, like, super uncomfortable. That's why I was wearing a hat. Because, like, when my hair gets to a certain point, um, like, a certain length, it's just, like, impossible to do anything with it. So I'm just like, screw it. I'm gonna throw a hat on and uh, not worry about it. But we're good now. We're good now. Okay, so this is level 3, we've been one-shotting so far, and uh, like I said guys, I mean, these Super Saiyan 4s, the, the new LR is just so ridiculously um, powerful, you know, like, it's, it's not really gonna be much of an issue, unless we don't get them in the first rotation, but even then, we have some, like, other pretty beastly units on this team, like the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta should be able to, you know, still do some really good damage by himself. Uh, obviously, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, um, as long as we're not facing the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta yet, he should be doing some really good damage. And dude, I cannot wait for him and the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, or sorry, the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Go uh, Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4, 4 Vegeta, to get his Extreme Z Awakening. Because those guys are going to be so good. And this team is already, like, really, really powerful. It's already really OP. But once the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta get their Extreme Z Awakenings, this is going to be, like, like, the best team in the game. 
I mean, maybe I'm like exaggerating a little bit, but it's it's gotta be close, man. It's gotta be close. I mean, think about it. You got the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. You got the EZA uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, EZA Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta LRs. And then you have uh, Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, or if you want to bring the tech one, I think they're um, both good for maybe different purposes, or they're a little bit interchangeable, so it's up to you. And then you can bring like... I mean, if you want to bring support, which I like to bring, they can go for that, like the, uh, you know, tech um, Gohan and Goten, for example, or you can go for just more damage, just like more OP units, like the Fizz GT Goku or the Int GT Vegeta. I mean, there's a lot of options at this point. And yeah, dude, the uh, GT Heroes team is just absolutely ridiculous. It's, it's really... Really insane. Okay, so now we don't have the Super Saiyan 4s, but like I said, or rather the like LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta together, but we do have LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and I would be kind of surprised actually if he doesn't one-shot the Omega Shenron here. Because they're still getting a 5.6. If we crit for sure, it should be a one-shot. If not, then it's a one-shot. Okay, there we go. So six levels in one shot every time let's see how long we can keep this up for because i would love to put like the video title as like one shotting the first 20 levels or something like that you know like i haven't really thought it you know thought it all the way through but like that would be pretty that'd be pretty dope so if we can get that That'd be sick. If not, that's cool. But I want to see like how far we can push this. Like this for sure is a one shot. Like there's no way, you know, Omega Shenron is surviving this one. So that's gonna be seven levels in a row. <laughs> Yo, this damage is just outrageous, man. Thirteen mil, thirteen mil. And of course, you know, it's the power creep. It's to be expected. But like. If you guys didn't believe me before the anniversary when I said like, yo, these are gonna be the like best units in the game when they come out. Um, I mean, hopefully you believe it now because uh, they, they are that good. They are that good. And I've been having a lot of fun with them. I mean, I thought maybe like at some point I would get bored of just like seeing the same animations over and over again. But no, um, oh crap, <sighs> I messed up. I messed up. I should have put Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in that first slot. Yeah, because I, I knew Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta wasn't going to be able to do it. Because his, his attack stat sucks um, on turn 1, right? So, I mean, either way, I guess, like, neither of these guys could have one-shot um, Omega. Because I don't think 5 mil was going to do it, you know, with that uh, in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Super right there. But... You would have had a better chance. You would have had a better chance. So that's my mistake. It is what it is. I guess we were only able to one shot seven levels in a row. I know it's kind of sad. If you guys have a better record, definitely let me know because I'm curious, like how how many levels you guys were able to do it for. But obviously, there's also a big element of RNG in there, right? If we were able to get the Super Saiyan fours, like the uh, it's kind of confusing because we got the Super Saiyan 4s together, but we also have Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta separately. But uh, you guys know what I mean, like the new one, right? If we got the Fizz one, like every turn or every round on the first rotation, then we could probably continue to one shot for a solid amount of time. Like for a good 15 levels, at least for the Omega Shenron levels, I think we can probably just like one shot all the way through. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I would expect to be much harder, but you also never know. Like maybe we can still one shot him too with the LR Super Saiyan 4s. So like I said, man, I don't think it really matters who we bring on the team. As long as you got your Super Saiyan 4s, uh, you're, you're good to go. You're good to go. So yeah, still one shotting at this point, uh, doing a little bit less damage now, which is not a surprise since he is getting more damage reduction as we go along and we are already a third of the way there guys <laughs> already a third of the way there um but 30 minutes 
is in question still because you know we've been one shotting the whole time so if we're you know going to be taking three four attacks to beat these guys now then you know the next couple of levels might take a lot longer so we'll see i'm still aiming for under 30 if it takes a little bit more than that then that's fine um but i have a hard time seeing us dying in this run so it should be pretty efficient overall like i should still set a pretty decent time that i think a lot of you guys are gonna have a hard time catching up to yeah i don't think i mentioned it at the beginning of the video but um if you guys didn't know the weakness for this event the effective category is of course uh shadow dragon saga so if you guys are able to put together a shadow dragon saga team that's ideal i do see um, a lot of teams out there also running the um, Shadow Dragons, right? So you could do like Omega Shenron, Sin Shenron, uh, the LR Shadow Dragons could work maybe. You know, characters like that. Um, who else? Oceanus is, is decent. Um, Nova is okay, although he's not, not great, but he, you know, he's got some support and stuff like that. So you could do like a Shadow Dragons theme or like, you know, the actual Shadow, Shadow Dragons. <laughs> Um, as a team too, and that could probably work. But ideally, I mean, you just run the Super Saiyan Force, and they will do all the work for you. So yeah, we are taking a couple more attacks now. I didn't get a lot of key in the first couple of uh, slots, so that kind of explains why we weren't able to get like the you know full 24 key super. But for the most part, if you have the Super Saiyan Force, you're able to get like 18 key at least because they get so much key from all the orbs right so that was just a bit of an unlucky round there uh, we can probably continue to one shot this guy if we no never mind <laughs> i was gonna say if we if we get the uh super saiyan fours again but didn't happen we still got the full 24 key super for batita even though you know his 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 attack stats kind of rough so i don't think it really matters but the two of them together, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta together should probably still do the job. They should still get the job done, I think. Maybe. Actually, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Vegeta with the additional, maybe. Never mind. Got the crit. Perfect. Still making good time. Still making good time. And obviously, guys, we do have the other Extreme D battle to worry about, the uh, gods, Goku and Vegeta, right? And I will do that as well later today. In fact, I think I'll probably do the gods Extreme Z battle event before I do the showcases for any of these guys, because um, I want to get them all Extreme Z Awakened first so that I can, you know, mess around with them a bit, you know, test them out a bit, and then uh, do the showcase after that. So... Yeah, the next video you guys see after this one will probably be the Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan God Vegeta Extreme Z battle. And also, I just really want to get them Extreme Z awakened. Like, I, I have no patience, you know? Like, it was really hard for me to even wait until now. Because last night, I was really busy. This morning, I had some stuff to do. So, this was, like, the first chance I had to, like, get to these events. And uh, now that I'm able to do it, uh, I'm just going to get it all done. I'm just gonna get it all done at once. Okay, so, um, not great for orbs. That's still an 18 key super, but we don't get the guaranteed double super, which kind of sucks. But we should still get him out of here in this one rotation with all three of them attacking. Oh, actually, never mind. Th this guy, like this friend, Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta, is, uh, pretty stacked so that was a lot of damage and then super saiyan 4 vegeta will finish him off and i think we're moving on to the super saiyan 4 gogeta now yeah because this is level 15 right or this was level 14 and we're moving on to 15 never mind this was 15 so yeah we're moving on to super saiyan 4 gogeta now we are 13 minutes in assuming that gogeta is not like way way harder we can still hit the under 30 minute mark but we got we got to push it 
We gotta push it. I think I'm going a little bit too slow, actually. So here we go. Oh crap, these orbs. Not good. Not good. Okay, I'll give one orb to Super Saiyan 4. Uh, Gogeta, that's gonna be a 24 key super. So that's solid. Actually, I should have put my Super Saiyan 4s in the first slot, because the friend one is rainbowed, I think. And mine is at... Well, I would say 79%, but that's actually not quite true. Um, mine is at 80% because, <laughs> uh, if you guys missed it, I put, um, I put my second dupe in the top right slot instead of the, or top right path in, in, instead of the top left path. So, I mean, you, the, the positive is that I actually have more hidden potential investment, technically, than I would have had for the top left path. But of course, I'm missing a lot of potential skills. I'm missing, I'm missing a lot of additionals that you know I should have had. Um, if you if you want to know why I did that, it was not intentional. I can tell you that for sure. Um, I was making a video, obviously, at the time, and I guess I just got like really distracted or something like that, and. Uh, you know, that momentary lapse in my attention caused me to make one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made since starting. Maybe the dumbest thing actually I've ever done since starting YouTube, man. Like, it was, it was bad. It was rough. And I still feel the pain every time I look at my Super Saiyan 4s because... I just know that like they could be even better, as 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 insane as they are right now. Like don't get me, don't get me wrong, like they're still really freaking good. But I know they could be even better, and it hurts me. It really does. But there's nothing I can do about it now. I had people suggesting that like I should contact Bandai and like see if they can roll back <laughs> my dupe or something like that, or like give me the dupe back. Um, but I, I'm not gonna try that because I know they're not gonna do anything about it, about, about that, you know, like it's not even It's not even like something you can justify, you know, like it's my fault um, I, I, I made the Stupid mistake, so I, I, I take ownership uh, of it, you know, I accept it like it's it, it's all on me It's all on me. So it's okay. Um, you live and you learn. Uh, I will never, you know just like half-heartedly put in dupes in like important units like this again I think I was just like too chill too casual at the time and uh, I don't know it's just I guess it's because I never made that mistake before so I didn't think it would happen but it happened and now I know not to ever let myself get distracted again when I'm putting in dupes so that's just a very unfortunate but important life lesson that I learned that day <laughs> Anyways, um, it's not really that big of a deal because, as you guys know, these dudes are coming back for the Christmas celebration for the Christmas banner. It's the same as the Tanabata banner that JP has, um, but we get it for Christmas. And at that time, I could either, uh, you know, pull them on the banner or just buy them with coins. So I'm probably just gonna end up buying them with coins, honestly. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll summon on the Tanabata banner too this year, because, uh, that Gallic Gun, Super Saiyan, uh, Blue, Vegeta, and, uh, the, the Trunks, you know, it looks really good. So I might need a couple of extra dupes in them, and this time I'll make sure I put them in the right slots, or in the right paths. So we'll see, you know, I got a lot of time to think about it, I got a lot of time to contemplate my, um, my actions, my mistakes. So, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta so far, I gotta say, not significantly harder than the Omega Shenron, but um, I think more so than the event being easy, uh, it's the Super Saiyan 4s being too OP. I don't think the event is necessarily easy, but the Super Saiyan 4s being as broken as they are, make this event seem really, really easy, you know, like, they make most events in this game a joke, to be honest, both, uh, you know, these guys and also the god boys, the blue boys, right, the Super Saiyan God Goku and Vegeta, um, they make most things in this game kind of a joke because they are, 
kind of like ahead of their time, I guess, you know, like every once in a while they release some units that are just seem too good for the current meta and these guys are it. Of course, I think in the long term, you know, over time, uh, that's going to be less apparent, you know, once we get more harder events and, you know, once the power creep continues to progress. Like, they're not going to seem as broken as they are now, like, which is always the case, right, when new anniversary units come out. But right now, for the current state of the game, these guys are almost too good. They're, they're almost too OP. But we can enjoy this Oh, <laughs> I was going to say op -ness again, but... <laughs> you know, if people, if people take it out of context and it sounds weird. Um, but we can we we can uh, uh, enjoy the OP nature, the overpowered nature of these units for the next little while until they eventually become more. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if normal is the word or like just average. Like they're they're. It's gonna be a while before they they seem average. I think, but. You know, over, uh, eventually they're not going to be as broken as they are right now, but I'm going to enjoy this time where they just absolutely roll through everything in the game. You know, it's it's quite fun actually. It's quite fun. Okay, level 22, done. 20 minutes in, uh, we got 8 levels left, right? 8 levels left, so it's going to be close. It's going to be tight. And now we're facing the... Awakened Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, so it's gonna be even harder. Um, hopefully, we can still maybe get like a one shot off, but I kind of doubt it. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Yeah, hopefully, we can get like an additional super. Actually, we get the guaranteed additional, so hopefully, the additional super is enough to take him out. If not, then maybe a third one. Yeah, so this additional is not gonna do it. That's not going to be enough. So we need a third additional super because Super Saiyan 4 of Vegeta is going to do nothing. There we go. Okay, perfect. Yep, yep. Like I said, man, rolling through everything in this game, it's not even close. It's not even close. All right. Uh, level 24 now, right? That was level 23. Yeah, level 24 now. We gotta be under a minute for every one of these levels. Um, I am shocked at how many rainbow Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta's I'm finding on the friends list. I guess like I am a relatively high rank, so that's probably a, a big part of it, I guess. But man, like it's just it's just never ending. It's just never ending. It's just like out of the 24 friends we've used so far, it feels like 20 of them. Have been rainbowed to Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta's, which makes me extra salty. <laughs> I gotta say, it makes me a little salty. So we took a super there. Um, this guy is not known to be very tanky, as you guys know, but yeah, it didn't do that much damage. It did not do that much damage. To be fair, we are under 200% leader skills, right? Actually, I don't think the GT Goku gets that. Because he's not in Kamehameha, right? So he's only actually under 170% leader skills. So... Yeah, okay. So he's not really hitting that hard. Interesting, interesting. Okay, anyways, I need to stop wasting time on that. We gotta... We gotta press the issue right now, man. We really gotta... Speed up a little bit, because I am kind of behind. On my 30 minute mark, I think. I guess I feel like I'm not gonna make it. It's gonna be close, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Level 25, come on, stop loading, load faster. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god, minute and a half, that was super slow. We need to get the LR Super Saiyan 4s on the first rotation every time. That's what we need. This is perfect, there we go, okay, nice. Now, I'm going to put mine over here because it has more attack. And then, oh, it doesn't matter. Gives these to him. And that's going to be another 24 key super. Perfect. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. 
I was wondering why my tax stat was so low. It's because we're not getting a bunch of links from the GT Goku. That really sucks. Yeah, we're missing like Saiyan Roar and uh, a couple of other attack links that I can't think of right now because I'm so focused on going under 30 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, the point is, usually my Super Saiyan 4 is hit harder than that. But because we're missing so many links here, hey, at least he finished it off. At least he finished it off. I appreciate that. Okay. So how long did that take? Hopefully under a minute. Just under a minute. Okay, so we're, we're, we're close. We're close. Yo, I don't care about the meat. Come on. Okay, 26. Let's go. Let's go. 90% Goku and Vegeta. Um, and we don't get them in the first slot, of course. Of course we don't. Okay, well, I'm gonna need Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta to pull off some, some magic right now and give us uh, a, at least a double super. At least a double super. Actually, wait, he can't do more than a double super. <laughs> so I just want a double super. That's what I'm trying to say. I said at least of us, like, yeah, the most he can do is super twice, so... Oh, at least he got a counter. Yeah, he got a counter. That's nice. Thank you. No crit, though. Yeah, we don't need the crit, though, because that did a lot of damage. Holy crap. Yeah, this should be enough to finish him off now. Yeah, there we go. That was beautiful. That was a lot more than I could have ever asked for. Okay, 48 seconds. Wow. I um did not see that coming. <laughs> I really didn't see that coming. I'll take it though. Um, okay, Super Saiyan 4s in the first slot. Uh, 24 key super, beautiful. Then just one orb, I guess, for Vegeta, but hopefully we don't have to really rely on him to even attack as long as we um, do some good damage here. Yeah, 7 mil. I would like to see a crit. Actually, the, the 24 key super doesn't matter as much, I guess, because, um, you know, it's, a, it's effective against all. But, yeah, I want to see a crit here. Actually, wait, we don't we don't need a crit. He, he's almost dead. You know what I'm saying? He's almost dead. He's dead. Okay, good. Four minutes to go. Four minutes to go. Game is lagging. That's great. Thank you. Uh, and three levels to go. So, we can take a little bit longer on these stages, but not much longer. Like, we're, we're on pace right now. We're on pace right now. Okay. There we go. Oh crap, I should have given those to um, Vegeta. I messed up. I messed up. Hopefully we don't need Vegeta. Hopefully we don't need Vegeta. Okay, go Vegeta. Double super. Double super. Give it to me. Let me see it. Come on, one more. Oh no, okay, that sucks. Um, I wanna see a crit here, please. Yes, and is that a counter? Are we getting, are we, are we getting, a, yeah, we are getting a counter, perfect. And a crit counter, it's a crit counter. Oh my God, he has like 0.1 HP left. <laughs> Damn it, okay, that's gonna waste some time. Uh, not too much, like 10 seconds. Yeah, here we go. Two levels left. Yo, this is really, really close, man. This is really, really close. Two levels left, two minutes and 30 seconds to go. Please stop loading, thank you. There we go. Level 29. Uh, Super Saiyan 4s, unfortunately. It looks like we are linking with the Spirit Bomb Goku, who is not giving us a lot of links once again. So we're not gonna do nearly as much damage as we could and we can't even counter this, so can't get that extra damage and we just gotta watch this stupid water gun attack. Stupid hydro pump for attack animation. You know what, I love the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, um, but I think for the super attack animation alone, I'm gonna have to keep using the int one because the int one at least has a good animation whereas the tech one is still trash man his super tech animation looks awful one more one more thank you that should do it 
That should do it. Okay, and then we have one level to go. I'm gonna get ready to stop the timer soon. Guys, get ready. Get ready. It's gonna be close. A minute and a half. A minute and a half to go. Or just, uh, just, uh, under. Oh my god, 89%. Okay, okay, that's fine. It's fine. We got this. We got this. We got this. Okay. There we go. And then Gogeta do his thing. And that should be it. Okay, I'm getting ready. We should get it done in under 30. Should. But as you guys know, nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. I'm still a little bit nervous. I am. I'm still a little bit nervous. But I think we got this. Come on. Okay, triple super. If they don't finish this though, I'm gonna be concerned. Cause then Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta might super us. Oh, we got it. Boom. Okay, done. <laughs> we did it guys. We did it guys. 29 seconds, 30, no, 29 minutes, 34 seconds. 29 minutes, 34 seconds. Officially under 30, as I had predicted at the beginning of this video. Feels good, guys. Feels good. Okay, so we got all of our Extreme Z Awakening medals. Um, let's Extreme Z Awaken these guys. Let's go. Uh, yeah, growth. Here we go. Boom. Extreme Z Awaken. Okay. I love the fact that you can fully Extreme Z Awaken these units now in one go, as opposed to, you know, um, having to, like, Go through every step individually and just taking forever. That was super annoying. Okay, so... Ooh, what do we do here? Because on the one hand, I could... Like, Dokken Awaken... Uh, attack Gogeta. And then save the orbs. Or rather, save the... Uh, save the Kais, but... At the same time, that takes a long time. <laughs> Like it takes a lot of a lot, a lot of medals, and it's kind of annoying to run that uh, you know event. Uh, screw it, screw it. I'm gonna use Kai's. I'm I'm too lazy. <laughs> I'm too lazy. And we did get the uh, grand Kai's anyways from the Dream Z battle, so it's not like we're wasting any of the ones that I didn't have before. And uh, yeah. You know what? Some people are gonna are gonna be upset at me for that. Some people are gonna be mad. But uh, hey man, it's my guys. I'm, I'm gonna do what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I want. Here we go. Okay. Now, now, now. If I were to advise people, oh my god, I have nine extra Omega Shen runs. If I were to advise people on what to do, I would say you should probably. Do the farming but I just feel like it's gonna take too long and also I want to get my showcases out later today so you know what I'm gonna do what I have to do I'm gonna do what I have to do okay so there you have it guys Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta both fully extreme Z awakened both ready to go I mean they're not like maxed out link wise but you know like pretty close Although I think my Omega Shenron might be pretty far off. Let me see. Uh, Omega, it, oh wow, okay. <laughs> I just had no reason to use him um, forever, you know? So that is, that is rough. Okay, we'll, we'll do something about that. We'll do something about that. But for now, that's all I gotta say, guys. That is gonna be the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you guys didn't have too many issues with this Extreme Z battle. I don't think it was too bad, but, you know, also, like, I have the LR Super Saiyan 4s, so if you guys don't have them, then I can definitely see people struggling a lot more. And, uh, let me know in the comments down below, if you guys raced me, then how well you did compared to my time. If you beat me, congratulations. If not, that's fine. <laughs> Better luck next time. And as always, guys, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell, 
so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.